Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our second example of how to do multiple inequality problems. Well, let's see here. We've gotten two inequalities. Let's first put them into the correct format. This is almost in the correct format. We simply have to switch this around. So inequality number one looks like y is greater than or equal to minus x minus 2. The second one, let's see here. Actually, the way to do that is to move the 12 to the other side. So we end up with 9x minus 12 is less than 3y. And now we simply have to switch the whole thing around. So in other words, we can say 3y is greater than these two together. So we can write this as 3y is greater than 9x minus 12. So we simply took the whole thing and turned it around, including the direction of the inequality symbol. And now we can divide both sides by 3. So end up with y is greater than 3x minus 4 as the second inequality. Next, what we need to do is find the equations by changing the equality symbols to equations to find the boundary line. So here we can say that for the first equation, we end up with y is equal to minus x minus 2. And here the second equation, 2, that becomes y is equal to 3x minus 4, and we do that to find the boundaries. Now be careful, here we don't have an equal sign, so that means we need a dashed line for the second equation. The first equation, the intercept is at minus 2, minus 1, minus 2, and the slope is negative 1. So that looks like something like this. So there, it's a solid line, and this is equation number 1. And so we have y is equal to minus x minus 2. So it's always good to label, sometimes even to write the equation right there on the graph. The second line is going to be a dashed line because we don't have an equal symbol here. The intercept is minus 4. So minus 3, minus 4 right here, minus 4. And the slope is plus 3. So up 3 over 1, up 3, 1, 2, 3 over 1. So it kind of looks like this. And it's a dashed line. So... It doesn't have to be exactly accurate, just something that's close enough so we can work with it is good. So here's line number two, and there we have y is equal to 3x minus 4. Four regions, but we really don't care. We're going to take one line at a time and do a test. We're going to test line number one first. So test number one. Line number one is right here. We're going to pick the point zero, zero. So that's for these two regions right here. And when we plug that, in the inequality number one, we get zero greater than or equal to minus zero minus two question mark, or is zero greater than or equal to minus two? And the answer is yes, it is. So what we did was we picked this point right here relative to line number one, and we found that this is a region that satisfies inequality, and therefore the other region doesn't. I'm going to shade out the other region. All right, now we take line number two. And we're going to test number two. And again, we're going to pick a point and pick this point right here. Again, the point zero, zero is a good point to the left. That's the region to the left of this vertical dashed line. And we're going to take the inequality. And so we have zero is, oh, not equal to, but greater than three times zero minus four question mark. So we have zero greater than negative four. And the answer is yes. 0 is greater than negative 4, so relative to the dashed line, I picked the point, the test point, that does satisfy the inequality, which means the other side doesn't. That means I'm going to shade away the other side. Like this. And so then cleanly, this is the region right here that satisfies the inequality, including the solid line, but not the point on the dashed line. So here, this is no, and here, this is no, here this is no. This doesn't satisfy, but this region does satisfy the inequality. Again, shading away the regions that do not, when you have multiple inequality uh, problems, makes it a lot easier to cleanly find the region that does satisfy the inequality, and that is how it's done. So, do you like this method yet? <laughs> All right, that's a wrap for tonight.